first of all i am introducing myself this is professor jitin kumar working as assistant professor in government engineering college of purnia i will start deletion the subject name thermodynamics first of all just i am defining the word thermodynamics so thermodynamics is the science of energy transfer which affects the properties of system under equilibrium condition it is science of energy transfer which affects the characteristic of system under equilibrium condition so whenever energy transfers the characteristic of the system changes so characteristic means there are so many characteristic of system like pressure temperature volume energies enthalpy entropy there are so many characteristics which we will be using in this paper in this subject so during this energy transfer the characteristic of system changes under equilibrium condition okay so this is very important under equilibrium condition so in one line if the thermodynamics is the science of energy transfer which affects the characteristic of system under equilibrium condition okay next term is system system is region in a space upon which a study is focused so for that i am giving this video lecture in that room so this is my system of of my flat because there are so many rooms of in this flat but i am studying in that room i am giving delivering lecture from in this room therefore this is the system for this purpose so what is system system is a region in a space upon which a study is focused next is surrounding everything except the system is called surrounding like if this room this is my system if apart from room there are kitchen bedroom bathroom and one more rooms balcony this all are surrounding so everything except the system is called surrounding next term is boundary this boundary what is boundary boundary separates system from surrounding this boundary separates this room from the outer space outer space so boundary can be either fixed or movable for example in this room this is my system this uh, the walls gate windows there uh, this is roof and uh, Uh, this floor are there. There, there. There are different types of boundaries. In in these boundaries, it it might be observed that this wall cannot be moved, whereas this window, door can be moved. That means this wall, floor, roof. These are boundaries which are these boundaries are fixed. And on the other side, this uh, window, door. This can be moved. This can be either closed or open. so boundary can be either fixed or movable so remember this one boundary it cannot be always fixed it can be either fixed or movable next term is universe universe if concludes system and surrounding this is called universe so universe is the summation of system and so next is next term is thermodynamic equilibrium because we have explained we have used this word in the definition of thermodynamics in in equilibrium condition in last statement in this statement we have explained that it is science energy transfer which affects the characteristic of system under equilibrium condition that is equilibrium means this is thermodynamic equilibrium this thermodynamic equilibrium so let let me define this term thermodynamic equilibrium thermodynamic equilibrium basically before understanding this thermodynamic equilibrium first of all you need to understand three different types of equilibrium first is thermal equilibrium next one is mechanical equilibrium and last one is chemical equilibrium 
so I will explain one by one first is thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium is equity of temperatures means there's the temperature of bodies should be uniform throughout there should not be any temperature difference so this is called equity of temperature this body having equally all portion have same temperature in that condition the body will be in thermal equilibrium next one is mechanical equilibrium mechanical equilibrium is equity of force there should not be any unbalanced force that is equity of force if only if any body have uh, does not have any unbalanced force in that condition the, the body will be in mechanical equilibrium that means in mechanical equilibrium stands equity of forces equity of forces third one is chemical equilibrium chemical equilibrium that means it stands for equity of concentration suppose that uh, i'm giving one interesting example this is chemical equilibrium if uh, if water and sugar are mixed in a glass suppose that just place some sugar in the glass of water if simply as you place this sugar in that glasses if you don't stir simply place just put this some sugars in that glass if you test this water mixture of this water and sugar then you feel that at this at the start of sipping there is no test of sugar as you move on this test of sugar increases that means in that condition what does it happen in that condition in this condition the concentration of sugar is different at different location of classes different location of water so this is not a condition of chemical equilibrium because concentration of sugar is different at different point different location of water but in the other hand if you stir well this sugar in water that in that condition the sugar is completely mixed with water if you test this drink then you will feel that everywhere probably everywhere probably this test is same so this is the key of chemical equilibrium so chemical equilibrium means in that condition this concentration of sugar is uniform throughout the mixture the sugar water mixture so this is the condition of chemical equilibrium so chemical equilibrium stands for equity of concentration so there are three equilibrium conditions let me explain one first in, in first thermal equilibrium equity of temperature mechanical equilibrium stands for equity of force and chemical equilibrium stands for equity of concentration if three all three equilibrium conditions are satisfied simultaneously that in that condition the system is said to be thermodynamic equilibrium that means for systems to be satisfied for thermodynamic equilibrium system must be in thermal equilibrium system must be in mechanical equilibrium and system must be in chemical equilibrium these are three equilibrium conditions which should be satisfied simultaneously at the same time next thing is next point is i will come this time coming properties characteristic of system just we have displaying just and um, pick up the words from our basic definitions we have this to once again repeat the definition of thermodynamic the science of energy transfer which affect the characteristic of system what is characteristic with the properties characteristic means properties so let me explain the properties of system property this is a characteristic of system this property is classified into two categories first one is intensive property next one is extensive property intensive property this property which will not depend on mass this stands independent intensive this i am independent so intensive property this property will not depend on mass like pressure temperature density all specific terms specific means current mass if enthalpy is there a specific enthalpy cap h by m okay entropy s capital s a specific entropy a capital s by mass small s this all a small abbreviation is used for specific terms so all specific terms these terms will be called as intensive property because these properties will not depend on mass next is extensive property extensive property this property will depend on mass this property will depend on mass like volume kinetic energy this is half mv square mass is there therefore kinetic energy is extensive property potential energy p is equal to mg as mass is there therefore this p is Uh, um, extensive property there's so different forms of energy is 
is called different forms of energy are called are uh, known as extensive property okay so these are properties properties are characteristic system this is classified into two categories intensive property and extensive property intensive property will depend will be will be independent of mass and extensive property will depend on mass okay so to remember this basic definition or basic definition and classification of properties okay so now once again come on this definition of thermodynamics we have used system and we have defined system now we will, we will define classification system how the system is classified system is classified into three categories system is classified into three categories first one is open system next one is closed system third one is isolated system open system means this both energy and mass can be transferred across the body system suppose the door and windows are open in that condition air enters inside the room in that condition fresh air enters inside the room this is the air enters that is mass some quantity of mass enters inside the room therefore in that open condition in open system this mass can be transferred across the body system at the same time if door and open their door and windows are open the temperature also heat also flows from high temperature to low temperature so in this uh, open system both energy and mass can be transferred across the boundary of the system for example compressor turbines nozzle there's so many mechanical devices which is called which are called open system next one is closed system closed system in this closed system there is one energy transfer can be taken place across the boundary of the system and this closed system mass transfer is not allowed the strict mass transfer is strictly prohibited so in that condition only energy can be transferred that means only heat can be transferred from high temperature to lower temperature either from room to outside or outside to system okay surrounding to system or system to surrounding then that depends upon the temperature okay third one is isolated system in isolated system neither mass nor energy can be transferred across the boundary of system this is called isolated system for example insulated flask insulated flask is also known as insulated flask is also called as insulated system so this is the another types of system okay so system is classified into three categories open system closed system and isolated open system both energy and mass can be transferred across the boundary system closed system only energy can be transferred whereas mass transfer is not allowed and the isolated system neither energy nor mass can be transferred across the boundary system this is all about the classification of system okay thank you we will meet in next session bye